Flex it family. Flex it family. Flex it family. family. In the house. Flex it family in the house. Flex it family in the house. Flex it family in the house. Welcome. Welcome to. What, um, wait a well, oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Flex it family. Welcome, Flex it family. We're doing a coronavirus special. Because it seems as though we're all being affected now by coronavirus. Here in Gambia, um, they've had their family. Just remember they've had their to first smash case. that like button. So, so, so you can get good luck every day. And thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Well, basically, thank you, Capri, for your introduction. I wanted to um, basically talk about a few tips. Um, not very good at talking with a song, not practice, but I'm practicing. So that's why I've got it on because I'm sure a lot of people will be doing a lot of interaction and they'll be wearing their masks. So I'm trying to put myself in the position of everyday blessed subscribers out there in America, in the UK, around Europe, all over the world, in Bahrain, even who are now um, dealing with this coronavirus. So First things first um, is get some of these uh, gloves, and surgical gloves, and your mask. mask. Now these can be purchased here uh, at a pharmacy or anywhere, and we've got ours for 50 dollars each. So that's less than a pound for one. Uh -huh. And uh, also the gloves, I think they were 20 dollars a pair. So it's quite reasonable. We also got some hand sanitizer. Which is really important. Yeah, and antiseptic soap. So you don't want to um, advertise any brand on the soap, but we use an antibacterial soap. But what I think is really, really important is what you put into your body. And I see a lot of people like uh, panic buying, um, we call that, like tin fruit and, and tin food as well. Um, but here in Africa, we are sticking to um, a more natural diet and in terms of saving things and foods that you can dry, foods that you can eat, we are recommending that you stock up on beans, kidney beans, daily beans, black eye beans, um, lots of beans that can give you protein. I've got loads of packets but I only had limited space on the table and obviously fruit and veg. So an example of like a dry fruit, this is dry cassava. And this is called Gary. We can use it to make Bami, or you can use it to make um, Gary and other dishes. But it's great dry and it holds for a long time. So it's a great food. Here we have Findi. Findi is a type of grain. It's beautiful. And you can have it with Domada. Is it liquid? Okay, thanks. Uh, or, or Domada or Cherubong. Or you can have it with um, lots of different things. And obviously, this is a packet couscous. We usually have the Gambian couscous, but it's finished. So I had this one in the cupboard, so I just took it out to show you. Also, um, couscous. We have our yams. We have yeah, our potatoes, our sweet potatoes. Uh, we have our fresh That's vegetables. All the food. Yeah, you have your pumpkin. You know, don't forget yeah, your peppers. I'm peppers help to, to fight infection. You have your fresh vegetables. You have your sweet potato leaf. You have your greens. Um, you have your yeah, you cassava cucumbers. leaf. Yeah, your cucumbers. Yeah, your salads. Um, what else? Oops, your, your salad stuff. Um, your fresh fruit. Fresh fruit is very important. So you, you have watermelons. your watermelons. You your pineapples, your pawpaw, your, your bananas, your oranges. Um, I've got the apples here today. And, but this is really, really important in terms of battling. Baobab! Right. What's baobab, Kath? Baobab, baobab is usually used for juicing stuff, but this is really important. Yeah, and you can even eat it. Like, you can even eat it. Let me like just this. eat it. <laughs> Go on, then. Go on, eat one. Tastes a little bit like sherbet. But baobab, if you can get baobab, you make this into a drink. So you dissolve it in a fluid like water. Or, um, you see how much we have here? This is like 100 dolasi or so. And um, you dissolve it in water. But this has more vitamin C 
they're most fruit and most um, vegetables that have high levels of vitamin C. So we do recommend that uh, you do take some some baobab, yeah, and ginger too. So I had a bag of ginger somewhere. Aha, ginger. Ginger is a great anti-inflammatory. Uh, the ginger that we have. Juice ginger in yeah. the jam. You have one juice ginger and you have baba. So yeah. Don't forget this. Yeah, natural juices. And so you and have. You have tomatoes. You have your natural ginger. So yeah. what we suggest is making uh, ginger juice. And also, oh, I had some limes here. I don't know where they're from, but oranges or limes in water in the morning. And also making your ginger juice. So when you have your ginger, you grate it. You can um, put it in water, strain it, and drink it. You can add honey if you like. I have organic honey here. Hang on. I'm coming back. So um, we suggest using um, organic organic honey as well. So if you do have cold or flu symptoms, you can use that with some garlic. I have garlic as well, and you can mix the garlic with the honey and the lime, yeah? When you, if you do have any cold or flu symptoms. And, and don't forget that these, um, these Oh yeah, your blood gloves. Don't forget it. So why is it important to wear your mask and your gloves? Because, because, uh, because of the coronavirus. You know, it spreads really fast. So there was so much confirmed cases, but but there was the, there were so much recovery cases yeah. all over the world. So a lot of people are recovering, but I say um, ground zero is your diet, and so Blackset family, we love you and we care. So we're making a video just to show you um, what we're doing to uh, combat and to keep our immunity and our immune systems high. Um, herbs very important. Don't forget to um, keep Hi. taking your herbs. Your herbs are essential to your well-being. So I do, um, I do really um, basically um, endorse using all natural herbs and barks, and in as much as you can as well. Uh, things like wormwood, black seed oil, and there's so many other great natural remedies. Uh, that you can use um, to help uh, combat this. But you know, bananas are great with potassium. These are uh, natural um, bananas um, that you get here. So they're full of uh, the proper natural um, potassium and calcium and so on. You've got cassava, you've got carrots. Yeah, these are carrots which have just been chopped um, to use uh, in food. And um, I've only got a small selection here but I just wanted to do a video to um, just to show you, you know, cucumber is also really good, uh, to show you a bit about what we're doing. These are our sweet potatoes, this is our yam. Um, we're using a lot, a lot of ground foods um, uh, in order to basically also keep energy up, but also using um, uh, different types of Homegrown porridges, peanut porridge, um, cashew nut porridge, and um, those and, kinds of dry foods we're keeping um, as well. Lexi family, mommy wants the best porridge, <laughs> so buy it. So buy it now. Yeah, he loves mommy more porridge. Uh, mommy more porridge is also made from a variety of We all love nuts. mommy more. We all love mommy more. My mommy more is really delicious. So, so here you have your pumpkin. Um, or your squash and even the seeds you know you can roast or dry the seeds and that's a great um, source of um, and um, uh, tryptophan in them as well tryptophan is good for you so you don't have to throw away the seeds keep your citrus fruits high so your oranges make sure you keep you know a lot of oranges in the house um, and, and lots and lots of um, fruit and veg. So we also have, um, like I said, lots of beans. Uh, we're keeping a lot of our teas as well, our dried teas. And uh, the main thing is to 
stay safe. I want to give a couple of tips about um, social mixing. So I want to say in advance a really big sorry to those Black Six subscribers that have come that I haven't uh, been able to see as yet. Uh, we're basically self-quarantining because I've had lots and lots and lots of contact with lots and lots of Black Six subscribers. And so just as a precautionary measure, we're self-quarantining for two weeks. Cat plays off school for three weeks, aren't you? Yeah. So, um, you know, we're going to be here. So we're still going to be at the end of our phone. And if we do have interaction, it's going to be... You know why I, I'm off school for three weeks? Why? You guessed it. It's coronavirus. So the president was thinking that it was really smart to... Um, um, close down schools because of the coronavirus. So we are so we are on lockdown. So we have to wear this everywhere we go. But uh, I think I don't. I think that um yeah. Uh, I think that Adam Abao was just trying to keep us safe for, for when the coronavirus comes to Gambia and when it and when it spreads all over Gambia. So he was smart enough to um um. To think about, think us. about us. Yes. So that was good because there has only been uh, one confirmed case that I know of. I might be wrong. Things might change within 24 hours, but there was just one case that I knew about. So, wow, it's difficult to talk in these masks, I'll tell you that much. I've never really done it before, but now I've got such respect for surgeons and other people who work with these things. So, we need um, respect. Yeah, exactly. I've got respect. So, everyone working in the medical care, um, uh, departments or, or facilities or institutions, you know, I say to you, stay safe, thanks for caring and looking after people, to all the Blacksit family, you know, this is just a quick video from us to you, um, just to say stay safe and um, look after yourselves, but also get the right things in your cupboards. Um, us as people of African descent, we vibrate uh, with certain foods and so buying certain tin foods is not going to help to build our immune system. We need to still eat healthy, fresh food and living in Africa you've still got access to um, fresh food thankfully. So we feel um, really, really fortunate that we're not um, actually in the West having to face any food shortages or toilet roll shortages or any such um, panic buying. We've um, been very fortunate to have everything we want um, at the tip of our fingers and we, we're, not, we're not really um, as worried. We're kind of living off the grid. So, uh, Cafre, mm -hmm. you want to say anything to the children out there? Yeah. Go ahead. So the message out there is that we can do something. We can contain it and we can control it. And if we think we've been exposed, we have responsibilities to self-quarantine, not only for our families, um, but for the general um, populace, our communities. And living in Africa, um, like I said, here you have your space. Uh, you don't interact with too many people on a, a daily basis unless you want to and um, you can go to your local small market which isn't um, as widely populated as for example going shopping in one of the larger supermarkets like in England and you're not going up and down in lifts and you know going in high populated areas as uh, we, we live in a, a province in a village so uh, we're not as exposed but we've got access to everything so um, I'd just like to say you know we are um, using 
our time wisely, I'm, I'm reading, I'm linking with Blacks and subscribers, but I would say to you is that I think this is a warning shot. And I think it's a warning call for all of us to wake up and to really, really wake up. This coronavirus is no joke, but we need to wake up and we need to know where it is that we'll be most safe. And, you know, from seeing what I'm seeing going on in Europe, and in America, I feel much, much safer here in my home. So yeah. my message is comfortable here as yeah. much as black as black family does. Yes. So all of you come to the Gambia, wherever you are, in parts America, England, you can just come to Gambia. It's safe here. There's no coronavirus here. So there's one case. But what I am saying is that essentially sorry Kath. You, you know, we're going to land this together, yeah? What we are saying is that stay safe, keep your distance. Um, please, and, and please, watch out. Please. Yeah, watch out. Um, but what we are saying is that, please, I've been asking everybody to come home, to get please, their land. Please, come home. To come home, yeah, to come home. home. You, know, you know what worries me about this? Is people getting locked out, locked down, locked out, locked out, locked down, and then you can't leave. Can you imagine? We don't know what the long term implications are. Just we don't really know what the just bigger. Just your flight today and come. There's no more flights. But oh. we don't know what the long term implications are. And we don't know what the bigger plan is. So I had the feeling that I had to get out. It's like I was seeing something like this happening and I was having like these dreams. Me too. And I think that it's, it's, it's time, you know, once this, you know, breeze is over, which I'm hoping that it will do, this pandemic will, 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 will go as quickly as it came. That, that's what I want to happen. But this should be a time of reflection for us. This should be a time of reflection. People are talking about martial law. Um, people are talking about um, a, a police state, people are talking about FEMA, people are talking about NASA, people are talking about special police and the army being involved, people are talking about food shortages, you know, where else is it, um, courts closing, colleges closing, universities closing, all these different establishment closing, who's to say that the national grid isn't going to close down, bam, no electricity, Who's going to say that, um, you know, transport isn't going to close down? Bam, no transport. I'm not trying to feed to fear. All I'm saying is that these possibilities exist. And how well equipped are we? And how well prepared are we for all of this? In Africa, if there's no fuel, I can use a donkey man. I can use a horse. If there's no electricity, I can still use my solar. I can still get my water from outside in my backyard. I can still iron my clothes with a cold iron. If I need to contact someone, I can meet in the village square. We have to really have a long and hard think about where our, what, we, what we are doing and where our future lies. And what we are doing for ourselves as Africans. What we are doing outside of Africa. And who are we really enriching? Who are we really enriching? And are we enriching ourselves? And are we living our best life? Are we eating our, our most healthiest food? Are we feeding ourselves the nourishment for our minds? Are we feeding our spirit? Are we feeding our soul? Are we dealing with our own culture and our own people? Where are we heading? Where are we going? What are we doing? All I've got to say is, fam, I just want to be safe and I want you to think. Just think about the bigger picture of what's going on. My family and I will not be taking any vaccines. And I'm not saying this to scaremonger. I'm not saying this to tell anybody anything, but I'm not a big fan of them. Because you have to put the virus in the vaccine. So therefore, we've opted out. And... Um, I'm not endorsing anyone to do anything or not do anything. I'm just saying, in protection of me and my family, we're not taking any vaccines and we don't want any vaccines. And, you know, you have to do what you think is best for yourself. 
But I would say eat healthy, drink healthy, live healthy, and drink lots and lots of water. Please drink lots and lots of water. And, you know, keep yourself clean, keep yourself hygienic, and most of all, keep yourself safe and keep your distance. Yeah. It's time keep for us distance. to keep our distance. Time for us to keep our distance. Yeah. And you always bring this with you, no yeah. matter what. Exactly. That's hand sanitizer. Yeah, so hand sanitizer. I've got one thing to say is that we're going to get through this. I'm, on, I'm going to end on a very positive note. Um, cases are actually decreasing. New cases in China have decreased. Uh, new cases in certain areas have decreased. Italy has increased and other areas in Europe have increased. But I feel safe here in Africa. We all do. We all do. And this is it. I feel safe here. I feel safer here than I would anywhere else in the world. So, you know, I'm comfortable sitting yeah, in my I'm house at my dining room table. We're going to tell people to do smash that like button. Yeah, smash that like button. Ready? One, Please two, three. Smash, smash that, that like button. button. Comment down button. below. Please Hit. subscribe and tap that bell and then you'll receive all notifications. Yes, and please share because we need to increase our subscribers and we need to increase, increase our, our views. Friends. So we need you to share, 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 share. So okay. Black Sit family, it's hard doing it with this mask on, so please forgive me. And I've never done a, I've never done a, a vlog or a presentation or anything in a mask before. And, so this is my first and time. And don't for, I mean, and you know, don't forget to, and don't forget to bring this and all of these. Your glass and your mask. And don't forget, never forget. And also never forget Baba. It's really important. Don't forget your Baba. And, and don't forget your food. Everything we need. Yes, Everything please. we have. Don't forget it. Don't forget good food. Okay, so thanks to Seth. Thank you to Adrian and for helping us film this episode. Thanks to Seth for thanks helping to us Seth, with Thanks to Seth, thanks for Daddy. Thank thanks you to, thank you to thanks Adrian. Thanks to Seth, thanks to Daddy. And... <coughs> For my family, I wanted to say keep safe. No, that wasn't a cough, that was just a flu in my face. <laughs> Don't get worried. <laughs> so, to my family, I want you to all stay safe. And remember. And um, remember, wear your mask, wear your gloves, wear your hand sanitizers, keep your distance, keep your distance, and hey. eat healthily so you can build up your immune system. So, Blacksit family, we love you. And, uh, and you want to nice say goodbye now? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. We love you, Black Sabbath. Please remember that um, stay healthy and um, uh, we uh, rely on your donations. So, Black Sit family, as always, we'd like to say thank you to your donations. Um, thank you so much because you help to support the channel. And I also want to say if you'd like to donate to the um, Black Sit family um, to help us making these um, videos and going um, on site. And if you'd like to also purchase a piece of land, please email us at botcollective at yahoo.com. So I'd just like to thank you to all of our supporters, everybody that's been generous and supportive to us. Thank you very much. And a special um, shout out to um, Marka and Gil and um, Big A and also to Crystal <laughs> Alicia and also to lovely Sandra. Uh, and I want to thank you very much please, for supporting Brexit. Please, slap and break that like button, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Bye, bye.